everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video is slightly weird is because my tripods decided to break so I've had to like prop you on my hairdryer box and I feel like it's slightly wonky but it's just gonna have to do. I've got an exciting video today so as you will know if you've watched any of my videos before I really love Stephen King and this has only been like a recent occurrence that I've started collecting his books we're going back to September last year so it's not really even been a year that I've been reading Stephen King but as you can see I got quite the collection coming along and at the start of the year Hoda so they announced that they were doing new releases of the books and I was super excited as soon as I heard but part of me was gutted because I really loved the Halloween editions and I thought that maybe they would be carrying on with those. But now that they've got this new collection coming out, I'm assuming that the Halloween editions are sort of dead in the water. So yeah, they'll be being released in batches up until the anniversary edition of Carrie is released. So when I saw these editions online, I was in two minds about whether or not to collect them at first because I really did like the editions but then part of me was like do I really need to collect another collection of Stephen King books when I've just nearly completed my Rainbow Hoarders. I mean I've got one left and it's a promotional copy so for all intents and purposes like my collection is complete and I was like have I got the space, have I got the money but naturally as any collector or any fan of a book series will know, I've started collecting them. What I love about these books, I will obviously show you them all in more detail because I've now got all of the ones that they've released in the first batch. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that the unboxing that I'm about to show you from Waterstones is the final one that I needed. It was the right ISBN, it was the right photo, so I feel like it's been long enough now that the book has been out that is going to be the new edition but we shall see. So these new editions they are kind of like the Rainbow Hoarders because they've got different coloured spines and they're kind of like the Halloween editions in how the front cover is sort of laid out. If you've seen them already then obviously you'll know and these are the UK editions so if you are in the US obviously they're not being released in the US but if you go on Book Depository, I know they've got like a big collection of these so far. I think they've got the six that's been released. I'm just going to be collecting them as they come out. I think they said they may be releasing like two or three batches a year. So it's not too bad because it means you can sort of split up the costs. And I think I paid between like $8.99 to $10.99 for each of these books when I had free with Waterstones and the way that they vouchers work. What I love about these books is that with the Rainbow Holders, if I show you, I'll show you Black House for instance, like the front cover is quite plain, which a lot of people don't like, but then I love the colour of the spines. So with the Halloween editions, look how cool the covers are. And then you have got cool spines as well. The books are like a mixed match of these covers, which is interesting. It was funny because I was chatting to the lady in Waterstones when I picked up two of these books and she was like, oh, new editions of Stephen King again then? And I was like, yeah. And um, she said like, it just seems to be like every month they release a new edition of Stephen King. And it's so true. Like there is just an endless amount. So anyway, I digress. Let's jump in to the books. So the first one that I've got is Firestarter and I'll show you a close-up of the book. So as you can see, super bright, super colourful and then you turn the spine and then it has Stephen King. So it is set up in a very similar way with the name of the book and then Stephen King. This is like the chilling classics and then I think they're going to come out as they released in different groups so I don't know whether maybe the spines are going to be a different colour for those or whether the font is going to change they haven't really said an awful lot but yeah this is the first one Firestarter when I purchased it I, this is one of the ones that I got last I'm not sure if you can see if I can tap the screen I can't really see it but there was a line and I thought it might have been a print and error but it's actually on all of them so it's not too bad the next one and I picked this one up in Hey On Why and I got it in the Richard Booth's shop. And this is Cujo. So I'll show you a close up of it. I think this one is so cool. Although, 
Considering Cujo's by a Bernese Mountain Dog, that doesn't look like a Bernese Mountain Dog, but that's just me being picky. And then this one has an orange spine. Again, it's got the same font. And then this is the back. I have slightly damaged it when I was bringing it home in my bag. The third one that I picked up, this was another one that I got in Waterstones and it is Salem's Lot. And I'll show you in closer detail. I'm pretty sure I did end up picking all of these up bar the one in hay on my in water stones it's like a mustardy sort of color and love that one as well and then the fourth one is the shining and i'll show you a close-up of this one obviously you've got the corridor of the overlook hotel and this one is green and then the back is green as well and again, it's got the same sort of colour themes running through it. And love that one. I love the font on the front as well. And like, this is quite simple, but I feel like they're, like, they're a nice modern cover because a lot of the older Stephen King books, um, if I sort of show you this one. So like the old Stephen King books are quite dated and I know they're not for everybody. And then to go with The Shining, this is what I meant when I said that they're not all older releases. So yeah, and this one is linked to The Shining. I haven't finished The Shining, so I'm not 100% sure how this is linked. And I don't really want to look too much into it because I don't want to have any spoilers. But this one is a darker green then. And I love that there's a cat on the front. I'm really interested to see why there's a cat and yeah that goes together and as you can see like the shining is slightly lighter than this one so i feel like they are going for like a rainbow theme so i'm not sure how that's gonna work what i would really really love to see is them do the rainbow theme but going from like the books that were released first to the books that were released last because with the original rainbow hoarders they're not really in sort of any order so the colours for me don't make sense because if you put them in publication order which is what I would like to do the rainbow is all over the place and I don't know it doesn't look as aesthetically pleasing to me so it's something that I've just avoided doing is in rainbow order instead but it would be really lovely if these ones could be in chronological order so moving on to the next part of this video so i have my waterstones order so i'm going to open it on camera and you can see my reaction to the last one i've been buying quite a few books from waterstones over the last sort of couple of months i've bought a few on the website a few in store because they were doing like the double points and obviously that helps you get to the free book quicker so when i reached it i i discovered recently i don't know whether it's a blessing or a curse but basically if you have a pre-order on waterstones i assumed that you had to pay for the pre-order outright and i've always been reluctant to do that because every time like i see that there's a book that i fancy being released is sort of halfway through like the month or it's just before payday and i'm like oh don't know if i can justify it yet and then i wait until payday and then a lot of the time like the book has already been sold out if it's a special edition because i didn't realize realize that the payment doesn't get taken out until the publication date which is amazing I mean it is until it comes to the publication date when there's a few being published in the same week and a bank account's crying but that's a problem for the end of the year you know so anyway I've been saving up those and I've been adding quite a few to my basket and then I realized that I had a free stamp and I was like oh, I don't know what I can spend it on and then I realized that I still have one left to collect of the Stephen King books so gonna open it now and we're gonna see if it's the right edition keep your fingers crossed send all the good vibes I feel like it is gonna be the right one if it's not I'm just gonna be a bit gutted and I oh god right okay I can never open things on camera <laughs> is it gonna be the right one the last one is Christine I didn't think I was gonna like this cover as much but I love it we'll show you a close-up so obviously you've got Christine, which is the possessed car. And then this is more of like an orangey red coloured spine. So that's the last one. These are what they look like all together. As you can see, they have started to go with like the rainbow theme. But 
Interestingly, obviously these have not been released in publication order. I just had a check and while these, apart from Doctor Sleep, are all sort of like the classics, they're not in publication order yet. So it's going to be interesting to see with the future releases if the other books, sort of like The Stand, Night Shift, I'm not sure if, I'm assuming they're going to publish Night Shift as well because I know it's like a collection of short stories slash novellas but obviously it's still a release so it's going to be interesting to see if these slot in with the colours. I'm going to be like low-key gutted if they don't but we shall see. But yeah that's them all together and what do you think? Do you like them? Do you think that they're worth purchasing are you gonna purchase them i know like some sort of older stephen king fans are not as fond of them so it'd be interesting to hear your thoughts on them and let me know which one your favorite cover was i think my favorite cover apart from dr sleep because obviously it's got a cat on it i really love christine if you did enjoy this video give her a thumbs up Feel free to subscribe if you want to, if you're a Stephen King fan, if you're a horror fan. Thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!